hey Aquarius so as you know my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot this is going to be the hidden truth message for my Aquarians okay so if you have Aquarius placements anywhere on either your eastern or your western chart then this reading is intended for you and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe to the channel my love I would love to have you back okay let us see what these hidden truth messages are for our Aquarians spirit. What are the hidden truth messages at this time for the Aquarians? Hidden truth for the Aquarians. Hidden truth. Triumphant success. Ooh, I like that. Triumphant success. So I feel like in ways where you guys were thinking you were buried underneath whatever you may have done in your past or whatever BS um, someone else may have tried to bury you underneath. I feel like you're stepping into this energy where now you're thinking clearly. You're able to see your way through. You're able to strategize and plan as to how you want to navigate moving forward. All right. Or at least that's what you're trying to do. A lot of you are trying to figure out what that next phase or next step in your life is going to really look like and what is it going to consist of with this ace of swords energy here this means that you have to cut something out though right you have to get rid of something whether that be a behavior a person a place something has to go in order for you to have this clarity or this new beginning okay so let us see hidden truth messages for aquarius hidden truth spirit messages for aquarius please at this time hidden truth messages for aquarius what do we have we have balance here in reverse okay so some of you guys may have been feeling a bit out of sync okay like i just said maybe you felt like you were buried underneath uh the consequences of the actions that you've taken over time you know maybe you were kind of burying your head out of shame or embarrassment all right maybe this was um other people's opinions of you and what you do or have done, you know, that made you feel this way. Or maybe these are the opinions you have of yourself. But whatever it is, you know that something has to go. Something, whether that be, like I said, a way of being or doing things. Or a person, a place, something. Something has to go in order to get you back in alignment, okay? So let us see what this is. Also, with this being 1-1-1, one, 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 this is an omen, okay? So this is like a portal. Interesting enough, one of my friends asked me earlier, you know, about this number. And we were discussing it this being a portal you know with this being in reverse this is like spiritual you're saying hey there's an opportunity for you to have clarity there's an opportunity for you to move on move forward however we're going to need you to be positive okay so maybe the thing that needs to be cut out is a certain imbalance with negative energy right because positive and negative you know they're going to exist in the same the same existence right the one cannot exist without the other right it's like um in order for light to be sh shed on something, there had to have been darkness. So it's that type of energy, okay? But make sure that your thoughts are mostly positive, okay? You being human, you thinking negative sometimes, that's going to happen. But should that be your, you know, go-to? Should that be your... Your all the time mental state? No, I don't think so. You know, I don't think that's healthy for any of us. So let us see what else Spirit has to say to our Aquarians, Hidden Truth. We have third eye chakra here in reverse. Okay, so yeah, you guys are experiencing some third eye chakra blockage. Okay, not being able to communicate clearly or manifest certain things into re your reality. And like I said, it's because you have to cut out a certain way of doing things. I feel here maybe some of you are used to manipulating people or situations to be able to get your way and it's not working okay or it hasn't been working and so like i said you have to face your consequences or you've been facing the consequences of your actions or whatever it is that you've done whether that be long long ago or something most recent but this has created a blockage okay six is about harmony and balance and alignment this is also like i said in reverse so take all of these things into consideration guys as we dig deeper all right i also feel like with rejoice and celebration here as the under line of energy some of you may have um <laughs> how do i put this some of you may have shown your tail at a time that was 
completely inappropriate for you to do so because this is about celebrations baby showers weddings okay those types of things graduations coming together to celebrate something with your family your friends your loved ones there is something that you did that made you feel some type of way okay or made you feel ashamed or made you feel you know whatever so let us look and see what this energy is we also have wisdom there so i feel like some of you guys are wishing that you would have applied the wisdom that you have or are feeling like hey you know i know better i should have done better okay that type of energy let us see what spirit has to say about triumphant success for our aquarians triumphant success spirit please for our aquarians hidden truth triumphant success for our aquarians hidden truth these two so we have the hermit here which is definitely about infinite wisdom okay this is about higher understanding and understanding okay with the eight of cups here this is about emotional withdrawal in reverse not moving yourself from a situation or a person so like i said this is you knowing that you have to do something okay being enlightened to it but not wanting to withdraw yourself emotionally let us see what this thing is or if we can get any other information for you i feel these two all right, so I feel six of cups here in reverse. This could be a sibling or siblings. This could also be a soulmate relationship. With this queen of wands here in reverse, this could be a fire sign. Okay, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Some of you could have a fire sign sibling that you're uh, going through some type of, you know, siblings go through things. All right, it could be something like that. All right, some of you may also be... <clears throat> overall emotionally attached in some way because this is a soulmate card as well to a fire sign okay knowing that you have to cut this person out or something something about this fire sign let us see what we can get all right we have the knave of pentacles here in reverse knave of pentacles okay he is someone who is learning someone who is gaining wisdom okay maybe like i said before with that wisdom energy you feel like you should have handled a situation better than you did okay i also feel here with this queen of wands this could be a very bitter energy okay give it <clears throat> enough time in this position queen of wands king of wands in reverse can be very very detrimental to themselves and people around them okay but let us see what we're getting at here let us see where spirit is going balance for aquarian spirit let's look at this balance energy Oh, yep, yeah, we got 10 of pentacles here in reverse. Some of you feel like your family is out of balance. Some of you feel like there are some things that are going on within your family that should not be going on within your family. All right, that could be what it is. Some of you have, um, what do they call it? You know how a person puts their foot in their own mouth? It's that type of thing, okay? So this distance or this space that's going on between you and your family could be something that you created, which is why you feel the way that you feel, okay? That could also be why with that third chakra in reverse or that third chakra blockage, you're unable to understand why because you really feel like you're right here, okay? So it takes for some hidden truth, somebody that you don't know, okay, who doesn't know you, the situation, or anybody else involved from a can of paint to tell you hey yeah no maybe you shouldn't have <laughs> you know tweaked so bad maybe you should have went into it with more emotion there could also be um a water sign involved cancer scorpio pisces okay this could also be somebody's mom here that we're talking about this can also be a representation of you maybe spirit is saying you should have handled the situation with more um passion and more um empathy okay versus more rage with that queen of wands in reverse okay because that is fire energy in reverse guys keep in mind that can be a lot of anger a lot of frustration a lot of rage right so let us see yep we have the king of wands here so there could be like i said a fire sign involved somewhere shape form or fashion all right this could have been you maybe spirit is saying yeah even though you know the best decision to do because keep in mind let me just slow it down for those of y'all who don't know, all right, the depths of the cards. But King of Wands, this is my entrepreneur card. So he's like extremely driven, okay? He is my King of Hustle. He goes after what he wants, okay? Now, with him in reverse, though, he's very selfish, very for himself, similar to the Queen of Wands, right? With her in reverse, it's like she's not in her feminine energy, but instead she's in this energy. One thing about him as well, I didn't mention, he can be very selfish. Like, if it doesn't benefit him, he's not involved in it. 
okay he doesn't want no parts and so i feel like this could have been one of those situations you felt like it didn't benefit you so you didn't want no parts you didn't come at it from a place of empathy or um affection you came at it from a place of kind of being you know excuse my language you know dirt so yeah we have the hierophant here in reverse so not listening to your divine guidance okay this could also be a marriage or a union that we're talking about here that did come out and then here's your energy at the line of energy of the deck okay queen of uh, swords very logical so for you guys are typically extremely intelligent but whatever this situation is it got you all in a fizz and it, it just threw you off it threw you off so now we have the third eye chakra here in reverse let us see what this is about what this is saying to our aquarians we're also going to look into this uh rejoice and celebration in reverse because that's interesting right what happened there so we have the four of pentacles, okay, holding on to something, holding on to something. You could have been trying to hold on to something or hold on to someone. Maybe you were trying to hold on to your siblings. Maybe you were trying to hold on to this love, whatever this is. Because the six of cups, like I said, could be sibling related, could be um, soulmate related. So trying to hold on to someone. All right, let us see. Yep. With the five of swords here in reverse. And now you feel utterly defeated, right? You feel defeated. You feel embarrassed. You feel ashamed. There's a whole lot of emotions here with this five of swords in reverse. But my thing is, what exactly were you doing, okay? Because the wheel of fortune here, this is about, okay, divine timing, divine order. Things happening the way they're supposed to. And when you see this, it means that it's time for something to move forward or it's time for someone to move on, okay? So whatever or whoever you were trying to hold on to, it's like, of course you feel defeated because it was nothing that you could have done. I feel in a sense, Aquarius, the person had already moved on with their life or they had already did whatever they, they did. So however you felt about it, whether you feel like it was right, wrong for them, not for them, it didn't matter because this person had already made their decision. You understand? So let us see where we're getting here. Yeah, that's what we're getting at. Underlining energy right now. We have the Six of Swords underlining, okay? And the Six of Swords is about a person moving away. Maybe this person moved far away. Maybe this person um, is, is at a distance from you um, figuratively, okay? Like, not literally in a different state, but maybe they just don't fuck with you now because of whatever you did or you said or whatever, right? But this is a distance that I feel like was self-inflicted, like something you caused, okay? And so if any other reader is going to fluff it out and all that, I'm telling you, guys, this is not that channel. I'm going to just tell you what I'm picking up on and what I'm seeing. With the chariot in reverse, it's like you were trying to prevent somebody from moving ahead or moving forward with something that was moving forward and moving ahead anyway. Okay, like it's nothing that you could have done, okay, or this is them, you, all right, whatever it is. But with the seven of wands here in reverse, yeah, it's like somebody else was trying to defeat someone when it comes to what they do with their happiness and their abundance. Look at this because we have the, the wow, the sun card, the ace of pentacles, okay, this is all about abundance, well being, okay, all of that, standing up for what you believe in. So it's like, what exactly were you standing up against? Like, it's like, I don't know. Maybe some of y'all like older siblings or something. So you, I don't, I don't really know. Like maybe you thought it was a show for you to run. I, I really, I don't know. I don't know. I'm lost. But let us see where we're getting at. Let me take these cards out. Then we, yeah, we have the tower card in reverse. Okay, 555 five, five could also be significant to a lot of you. I know that means something to me. You know, but what does that mean to you, right? Those of you out there who are listening to this. So with Rejoice and Celebration in Reverse, let us see what this is about. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups here in Reverse. Like I said, this is like celebrations for baby showers, weddings. So think of a reception or something like that, okay? This is my commitment card. So it's like, you didn't want to raise your cup. You didn't want to celebrate. Why? You get what I'm saying? What exactly happened here? <laughs> you didn't want to commit to what was happening. You didn't want to be a part of it. Yeah, judgment call in reverse. You didn't agree with the decision that someone else made. But when we see the judgment card, this is like, once again, this is Archangel Michael, okay? And when they get to blowing that trumpet, we all know what that means, right? So that's like judgment day. If, if there's a call on somebody's spirit or somebody's being called to do something or be with someone or whatever this thing is this person could have just moved away from home moved away from the family that's what i'm getting okay or this could be you because we have wisdom here and we have love begins so you see here the person left because of something that they were divinely guided to do 
Okay, so they left their family to go and follow their wisdom or do whatever they were divinely guided to do. Okay, which includes love here for someone. All right, so I don't know if it's like an older sibling that was just trying to be way too controlling. See what I'm talking about? Emotional loss in reverse. Like, okay, I don't know what this is, but like I said, if it's something that that person or you, whichever way it goes, was called to do, that's just what it is. Okay, so let's see what else we can get on this for Aquarius. High Priestess energy here in reverse. Okay, not following your intuition, not listening to your intuition, not committing to the plan. Okay, maybe you had a plan to be there and participate, but then something happened. I don't know. But like I said, you're stuck in your head about it, feeling embarrassed, feeling ashamed, all of that stuff. You might lose sleep over this with this Knight of Swords here. Okay. And with this Knave of Wands, there's definitely a fire sign involved somewhere. Okay. And that person, they, they feel very strongly about how they feel. Okay. So with the Seven of Swords, like we saw, or Seven of Wands that we saw in reverse, there's really no point in trying to stand up to this person because they feel how they feel. And I don't, I don't think it's changing. Okay. So yeah, we have the Four of Cups here. I feel like you can go and tell them whatever you want to tell them, but it's kind of going in one ear and out the other thing here. Okay. So yeah, with the death card here, it's time to transform this situation or transform the way you view this situation. Maybe it's time for you to just look at it completely different, period, dot. All right. Trust spirit on this. I feel like whoever this person is or people are, whatever decisions they're making, like let them make it. And if it's going to be fucked up for them, then let them make that. That's a decision for them, not for you. You know, but Aquarians, you, you do that sometimes, okay? That's one of your good qualities, but, you know, not so good qualities at the same time. You don't have to control anybody else's life, you know? Just worry about what you got going on, you know? It is what it is. I also realize a lot of people don't like hearing some of the things about themselves, but that's true, too. Uh, you know, it is what it is with that as well. <laughs> so let us see. Messages for Aquarians. Let me see if I can get anything else for you guys before we go. If it resonated with you, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Let me see what I can get. We got the seventh chakra, okay? So, yep, this is your crown chakra information coming through. Archangel Uriel is associated with the high priestess energy. So, this is intuition, okay? This is also number five, as we can see here. So, this is about being divinely guided. So, I feel like this message was divinely guided to you, okay? Whoever clicks on this, whoever hears this, whatever. Because I feel like your, your abundance was being blocked. And a lot of you were probably trying to figure out why. Look at my little candle the candle spilt over um a lot of you were probably trying to figure out why your abundance was being blocked or why you were at a standstill okay see here we have that third eye chakra energy here as well right at the underlying energy but the reason for this is because of that okay i feel like some of you like i said the consequences of your actions that's how we started this reading that's how we ended it all so here's joshua exactly some of y'all like to call him jesus some people call it karma call it whatever you want to call it but it's coming Okay, it's here to balance out the scales. Okay, like I said, 51, 6. Okay, we also have Magician in the Mirror, under, Underlining Energy, exactly. Like, you, somebody, whether it's you, the other person, because I feel like so many of y'all don't want to own up to or are not going to want to own up to it was you. So many of y'all going to be like, that wasn't me, it was another person, though. Okay, but you know which side of the fence you go on. So, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. If it was you, then... Mm -mm -mm. you shouldn't be trying to mess up what somebody else got going on and if it's them then mm -mm -mm on their ass <laughs> but if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and air grease